The massive open online courses, the MOOCs, Visioning Workshop. Some of the workshop participants shared their insights. Uh, this, this workshop, actually it was, it was my first, so this MOOCs, MOOCs workshop. Mm -hmm. It's like a massive open course and it's very important and I found it important. Mm -hmm. And I'm really impressed the way we are, we are identifying, trying to identify the cause of the problem and we shape the problem and finally we find the solution for the problem. Mm -hmm. So it's a very interesting one and coming to the importance to my country or back there, uh, it's very important so that in a way that we can, we can identify the problem, there are problems uh, associated even with the disaster and the resilience is also very important for the country and this moves it's very important so that it can increase the access for everybody to participate since it's open and online. Everybody can participate and put an idea so that in collaboration it will bring some, some sort of solution. Now, in this country where we are going a little technological, many people are computer literate, many people are improving in their technology. I think it is a point at which people can use uh, the technology to be able to learn or relearn or obtain new insights. We are getting more busy. We are in an era where women are also emancipated, so they are also working. So there's a lot of being busy. Sitting at the same place is not that easy at a job. So then an online course becomes a bit easier and accessible to increase who you are, to understand more. So it becomes an easy thing for somebody to access, other than the traditional one of being in class and being taught. Then uh, personally, what I've learned, the identifying and defining the problem, specifically, mm -hmm. I remember when we were stating the problem statement, I kind of were more general. When they brought it more specific, then finding solutions also becomes a little easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it becomes more relevant to us. And uh, I, learned th I, I learned that brainstorming. You know, most times when they would ask me to brainstorm, I would think and think. Now I notice the moment you say something, you never know what a solution it is. Because sometimes we're in fear if I say what is not right. But the encouragement that say whatever comes to your mind, you find that actually the problem, the solution to your problem has always been with you, but you had never known that it exists. Mm -hmm. So to me, if we are helped with this design thinking part, then the solutions are not outside us. They are with us. We only need to have the run around us to help us package very well our so solutions and because we create them ourselves, then it's easier to own them and to run with them. We learned how to follow the MOOCs procedure to be able to establish an online maybe portal for e-learning for students to participate and to also help us to enable us to develop our own communities. For instance, UDS initially our aim was to take the MOOCs initiative and then we're able to solve the problems that are associated with urbanization. And of course, as we came here, we know it's very intensive and then the, it is more practical. So as you go through all those practical procedures, when you go back and you want to train people to help you to achieve those aims, it becomes so easy for you because you also pass them through the practical issues and they end up understanding what they are supposed to do better than maybe trying to think of a theoretical kind of thing and trying to imagine it in their heads what they are supposed to do. So I think I've benefited a lot from it. Mm -hmm. For instance, my university like this, we run a program called the third trimester program. Mm -hmm. You go to school for first trimester, second trimester. The third trimester, you go to the field. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to the field, you are sent to a community, uh, a, a, let's say a low, lower developed community. Mm -hmm. You go there, you try to learn their problems, try to help them solve those problems associated with development. Mm -hmm. So by the time you come back, you should be able to at least contribute to their, to their uh, what is it, development of the community. Uh, we learned a lot about uh, the processes involved in uh, developing the courses, the, MOOC, the MOOCs themselves. But what stood out for me was the fact that you, have, you always have to consider your subjects or the people for whom you're developing the material. 
whenever you are identifying the need through interviews and a very intensive process as well. So for me that stood out and I believe that it will be very useful and I've already started gathering my ideas in terms of uh, how I'm going to share that information going back uh, home. From my group I learned a lot as well because we had issue things like brainstorming for solutions that is after you identify the need that was very informative and uh, also led to practically be involved in that process. So what I got from the workshops is that first of all you have to I mean we had ideas about ethnography which means I mean you consider the cultural context and uh, for your people, people for whom you're developing the courses. So that for me stood out as well and I believe it's very important to consider the culture, the background of the people that you're interacting with. There is no solution for everybody. No, no one size fits all and of course the facilitator did uh, emphasize that.